Life Audio. Hello. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for our lives. I'm your host, Grace Fox. And after this short word from our sponsor, we'll dive into today's Bible verse, Psalm 100. Three. Miracles are everywhere. Let our adventure begin! Discover Pure Flix, your premium streaming service where faith and family values come home. Ready to have some fun? The most exclusive selection of quality, wholesome movies and series that will uplift your spirit. A man can argue whether God exists, but when he looks at his daughters, he knows. With new arrivals every week. Unbelievable. Save big and enjoy the possibilities, like invitations to exclusive theatrical screenings. I see it, so I believe it. Find out more by joining today at pureflix.com. Today's Bible verse is Psalm 100, verse 3. Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us, and we are His. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. On several occasions while driving in Romania, I've seen shepherds standing guard over their flocks. A man in this occupation takes his responsibility very seriously. Finding good grazing land might mean being separated from his family for up to five months. During that time, he lives without running water, plumbing, and electricity, and he sleeps in a little structure that resembles a man-sized rabbit hutch. His ability to provide for his family depends on the condition of the sheep in his care, and that condition is a direct reflection of his character, so he seeks to care well for his woolly critters. In today's Bible verse, the psalmist calls us sheep and says we belong to God. We can rest assured then that we are in good hands because our shepherd is wise and good. He cares for us to ensure our well-being. But what does that look like? In trying to understand this, I found it helpful to look at today's verse alongside Psalm 23. I want to focus on verses 1 and 2. First. Psalm 23, 1 says, The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. In the physical realm, a good shepherd does everything in his power to see to it that his animal's needs are met. He finds the best pasture land, rids the sheep of parasites, protects them from natural enemies, and provides shelter and clean drinking water. In the spiritual realm, God, our shepherd, sees to it that all our needs are met. This doesn't mean giving us an abundance of material possessions or wealth, but according to 1 Peter 1, 3, it does mean he gives us everything we need to live godly lives. We can trust him to grant wisdom in great measure and peace that passes human understanding. We can trust him to bless us with joy in the face of suffering and forgiveness when we confess our sin to him. We can trust Him for acceptance and for strength and for the power to persevere. Psalm 23, 2 says, He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. Sheep find it nearly impossible to rest unless four conditions are met. They need to be free from fear, from friction within the flock, from pests like flies and parasites, and from hunger. God, our shepherd, addresses each of these concerns in the spiritual realm so we can experience inner rest. First, he knows that fear is a big deal for us, so he repeats in his word, Do not be afraid, for I am with you. By understanding the power of his presence, we can come to the place described in Psalm 4, 8, which says, I will lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, will keep me safe. Our shepherd resolves the issue of friction in the flock through his teaching and modeling of servanthood. Tension, comparison, jealousy, envy, all of these things fall aside when we truly follow his example by putting others first 
taking delight in honoring them and learning to be content with sitting at the foot of the table rather than at the head. Freedom from pests and parasites is a necessity before sheep can lie down and rest, so a good shepherd checks his animals regularly for bugs and administers treatment as needed. God, our shepherd, knows how we struggle with feeling bugged when circumstances or people annoy us. He gives us the Holy Spirit, represented by oil in Scripture, to bring soothing relief. When we let him fill and control us, he replaces our feelings of irritation with calm and contentment. Freedom from hunger is the fourth need that must be met before sheep can lie down and rest. If they're hungry, they'll waste their energy searching for food, and they will languish. Therefore, a good shepherd will clear rocky land, plow and prepare soil, and plant legumes to ensure his flock will be well fed. God our shepherd feeds us by clearing our hearts from rocks of unforgiveness, fear, and insecurity. He tills the soil of our hearts and plants the seed of his word so it can grow and bring forth fruit that feeds us with hope and truth. It satisfies us and brings us to a place of inner rest. When sheep become thirsty, they will seek to satisfy that thirst with whatever water they find. The problem is, sometimes that water is contaminated and makes them sick. A good shepherd provides his animals with clean water to prevent illness. Our good shepherd does the same. Our souls are thirsty, and we may try to quench our desire from unhealthy sources such as work, money, position, alcohol, romance novels, and social media. But God, our shepherd, has provided us with the living water, Jesus Christ. Those who drink from his well find their thirst forever quenched. All who have placed their faith in Jesus for salvation are the sheep of God's pasture and are in his care. We can trust Him to provide everything we need to flourish and experience inner rest. How should we respond then? By doing as Psalm 100 verse 4 says, Enter His gates with thanksgiving. Go into His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and praise His name. Indeed, the Lord made us. We are His, His people the sheep of his pasture, and he is our good shepherd. Let's praise him for that. Father, you are our good shepherd. Thank you for buying us with the precious blood of Jesus. We belong to you. We are the sheep of your pasture and are in your care. Thank you for looking out for our best interest and for meeting all our needs. We praise you, good shepherd because you are completely trustworthy and true. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Bible Verse is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.